Hell Divers 2. Hell Hell Divers 2 review triple the defense budget. Starship Bloopers by Maxor. This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers 2 is an amazing co-op shooter that plays I love exactly like No Man's Sky. Except instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh, die horribly in the psalm. Every copy of Helldivers 2 is, uh, it is personalized. Joel wanted me to fight 10,000 fire ants. In a universe where humanity is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the actual terminators super earth the galaxy's last and only bastion of managed democracy no! sends its finest men women and children over seven to liberate and spread freedom to the most okay, horrifying oh. hellscapes no okay guys you, you know what you know i just i just re i just realized something this video is reminding me why i'm not zoomer because there is so much going on that I'm getting actually confused. <laughs> it's like, it's so fast and so attention grabby no demand, that I'm like, war uh, it's are not like overwhelming me, my brain. But are necessary. We play as the Helldivers, humanity's finest in emancipation and friendly fire incidents. But uh, there's no need to worry about that last one because we are incredibly expendable. All across the galaxy, Liberty's enemies march ever closer. But through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, we will fight for freedom, for democracy, right, down, down, down. and most importantly, because it's really funny. Dudes be like, Helldivers 2 is military propaganda. My brother in Christ, it worked. Triple the defense budget. Dude, hell's on for songs, they just, they, they, they're so good. The first thing you'll notice upon entering the SES Judge of Judgment is the incredibly stupid name. And yes, you are able to name it other things using the Wizard 101 naming scheme. Things like <laughs> the Pride of Pride, Star of the Stars, Patriot of Patriotism, nice. and my personal favorite, the Founding Father of Family Values, because this game has a lot of violence and movie hiss. Oh, here you see me depicted as the Soy Wojak. The second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war, and that we are currently fucking losing the galactic war. Where's that music from? Isn't that like from Terraria or something? Which is why we need to suit up with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic process. If you don't have any friends, then uh, I hope you can speak good Mandarin. I think I did... <laughs> something to make him wait wait <laughs> dude i would be cr i would be cracking up if i was in that if i was in that lobby dude Oof. it would be a good lobby i kind of i'm a little jealous kind of wish i was in that lobby but to win the galactic war we must first understand the galactic war we can ill afford another malevolent creek which is why i'm going to go over each of the two fronts that are currently reducing us to smears across the galaxy and uh i'm going to do it at difficulty seven or above which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age on the left turn side of the political spectrum we have the <laughs> front. it took a bit for that joke to like hit me and it was like it, it like dug itself into my brain slightly and i was just like an enemy focusing on range <laughs> tactics, heavy armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of- Oh my god, it really- it really feels like the new- the new front, dude. It just- it feels like there's so much armor. It's like, drop like, leaflet, gun, leaflet, four, gun, leaflet, gun, uh, four gun, leaflet, big trunguses on you, I swear. Yo, Tomeshi, thank you for 28, dude. How's it going? Thank you. Leaflet, gun, leaflet, gun, leaflet, gun, leaflet, Explosive ordnance. Oh, I'm out of here, guys, later. If that sounds a little bit intimidating, then don't worry. I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaws yet. Chainsaw Man reference goes in the video here. But talking about the automaton front is never complete without talking about the fucking creek. Or as it is known by our honored veterans. Dude, compared to the new planets, I kind of miss the creek. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad on the creek. 
and look back on it. Fun memories. Space Vietnam. This goddamn planet has been single-handedly responsible for most of our casualties. <laughs> My leg! Is this SpongeBob? And that is genuinely impressive, considering that uh, 10 million men have already died in the Battle of the Madagascar Lemur. <laughs> Those are considered rookie numbers, and we're already outpacing the Taiping Rebellion. In fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a, some way related to Malevolon Creek. And personally, I don't really see what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. How important could one planet possibly be? I am a human supremacist! Kills that Alex Jones. <laughs> we will go interdimensional. We will unlock the secrets of the universe. You know, honestly, like, dude, Alex Jones is screaming. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it when he goes like full off the rails. It's like so funny. It's so funny. Like there was like that. Ah, oh, that those the interviews on Joe Rogan, dude. Oh, Fucking peak content. God has laid them out like Christmas presents for his children. Boot camps got fucking weird recently. <laughs> Malevolent Creek and by extension. Did you guys see the 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 clip? Where he goes, he goes on Joe Rogan. Uh, Alex Jones is on Joe Rogan, and he just goes, guy. He goes, we must win. He's like, the he's like, before they know he's like deep in thought. Yo, also, thank you so much for this sub. Thank you. He's like deep in thought. Uh, Alex Jones deep in thought, and he goes, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> it's just, so that's it. I'm kind of retarded, period. <laughs> it's just, like, it's the funniest shit. And like, and like Joe Rogan starts cracking up because it's just like so out of nowhere. It, oh my God, it's so funny. Rest of the front is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD <laughs> one man can possibly get their firepower is so overwhelming so absolutely constant that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous as it implies that i do the objectives fucking shit. this can occasionally push you into what we call a unfortunate tactical positions at which point your main options for survival are Dude, going this to is why be smokes are so good slower friends get burned to death in the make -off. I will never <clears throat> unhear that scream. So yes, this planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital. But after dealing with several days, dude, dude, dude that is, it, dude, that's blasphemy, man. This is a thought crime. A waste of human. Do we took it? As angry forklift decommissioning. Oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, call me crazy. Wait, what? Did it say that? Which point, your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the make off. I will never unhear that scream. Oh, it's so, uh, yes, oh, oh, that was like a, a, a something like Discord or something. Personal. And honestly, I just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We lost Vietnam, we lost Afghanistan, and yes, we definitely lost America. So, goddammit, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non binary species, and service guarantees gender affirmation. Uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Number Dude, but if, if that was if that was true, then nobody would have it because I'm not gonna go into it. Nine. If you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, you're quickly going to realize that most of our forces. I know, I know, patchouli would. Each one taking glorious revenge against the steel plants they work in. Very auspicious behavior. And conversely, I knew Patchou I know patchouli would, but patchouli is built different. Milo have been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches, for it is the God-given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs that it is man who was made in God's image. Really can't wait to die on fucking uh. To legally distinct Clendathu, the terminated front, sorry, the terminated population problem is a wide assortment of increasingly horrifying demons, each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways. Uh, my, my guy has got a bad case of the rigor mortis. We've yeah, you die bugs. so much Big from bugs. just random it's shit in this bugs. game. Bugs that function as artillery, and of course, the bugs that stalk you at night. Thankfully for us, though, Napalm is an equal opportunity employer. And uh, a lot of positions are open right now. 
That is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about 40 minutes or so. Because, uh, they just spawned a battalion from the ground, like the goddamn vehicle. Yeah, that's why you can't, that's why it's so hard to stream this game. Because it's like you can't read chat, because you can't look away, because they're just always attacking you. For the third time in a row, and I do not have enough raid for this shit. They have, like, no chill. Good fucking throw, dude. I, I just want to walk to the McDonald's, guys. I'm just a level one goblin. It's literally my birthday. I'm a little birthday boy. And do you want to know the worst part about this war? We uh, don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, don't, don't we, don't we move them between planets? Isn't that how they, isn't that how they do it? I don't, I don't know. Maybe they have bug spaceships. The Terminids simply appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Kind of like a Whole Foods. So, uh, you can imagine my shock when I learned that those white bitches were trying to gentrify the moon. They are ruining <laughs> the amazing local <laughs> culture of, uh... Wait, what? California. I... <laughs> what? I hope it's becoming obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call, uh, same-day shipping to God. <laughs> What the fuck? Fortunately for us, though, we have access to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools, which are only accessible via inputting a series of hand signs. Okay, guys, you know what? Um, this this video is really this video would be really hard to make, by the way. Like, fucking respect to this guy. Freaking fifteen minutes of this shit. This probably took a million years. Informally known as airstrike jutsu. Whether oh my god, dude, that's what Shy said. It was like airstrike chances. <laughs> it's so true. Big airstrikes, bigger airstrikes, biggest airstrike the engine can sustain, or airstrikes that specialize in killing everything except the enemy. There are so many bad guys with so much damage to be done. Uh -huh. The most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I got 500 kilograms ready. <laughs> What have you fucking done? And yes, you do have to throw them, which means you can drop them. Throw the Yo, that kind of sounded like whiskey. Was that whiskey? Wrong asset. And even attach them to enemies that are running into you. My personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain inside and out we also offer a gluten-free variety now of course airstrikes aren't the only thing we can deliver just most of them because here at the defense department we take care to provide to to provide to provide why can't i say words a wide array of support tools and by support tools of the random chinese which are crucial <laughs> and necessary for fighting us literally anything We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice. <laughs> Average American police Dude, that's why I hate that's why I hate the freaking guard dog, dude. Every time, man. Ammo, automatic targeting and a vendetta against teammates. For uh, okay, listen. That was on purpose. Ammo, automatic targeting and a vendetta. There's no way. There's no way you would take this shot. There's no way, man. This dude Dude, come on. Data against teammates. For when you really hate everything in a general direction. Railguns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic line infantry. It also has two fire modes called safe mode and unsafe mode. And of course, the uh, giant death robots that randomly. Uh, what team kills more, the guard dog or the deployable turrets? Well, you see, the guard dog kills you more. The person wearing it kills you more than your. I mean, if it, your turrets kill your teammates more, but like, you're fine. Cause you know where your turrets are. So, uh, yeah. What? That is the last time I buy a fucking Tesla. My uh, personal favorite strategy involves everyone giving their mechs to the designated disabled man who will proceed to stay inside of six different wheelchairs for 40 minutes. And as a caveat- Dude, it's really good though. Home. Like having like that many mechs, like having one person like permanently armored is really good. The ground between mechs but like takes like strategy, it takes like a coordination. But right? honestly, all of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply of gamer subs energy drinks here to give you a fantastic boost to your gaming abilities. Which wait, this is actually an ad. This battle, I will now expect of you. We in the Chinese are not going to be taking back Osto 2 on eight hours of sleep, but uh, they did also release a sleep aid. 
In case oh my god, it actually is an ad. This is actually an ad. Gamersups comes in many different This is legendary. These are the best kind of ads though. So good. They're so good when like they're just kind of like in there and it's just like kind of a part of the actual thing. I I like it a lot. It's up. It's just good. All at the low price of 40 cents per stratagem, which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I uh went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still watching this video somehow, and uh, God bless you if you are, you can have Gamersups delivered with 10% off by opening the description and clicking the special stratagem code. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we have sentry guns in case you really don't want to play the game, as well as a strange. I love sentry guns, so good. Are child safe? Can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, Sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun shells. Now, uh, in this kind of environment with this many fireworks, casualties are not just expected. They are required. You, uh, don't really get to 12 million by being an easy game, which is why, upon the occurrence of my teammate's tragic passing, I will gain the ability <laughs> to replace my friend with a legally distinct Helldiver, ready to fight and die for... The worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice Tea World. Missions in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds. And so, then, I mean, the new ones look kind of different. Like I've seen like some some new biomes that look, look pretty different. Building a Walmart super center on them. Local residents be damned. To that end, <laughs> we have a great diversity of missions, like geological surveys, rescuing civilians who move their heads like. This is really what I want them to add to the game. It's just like a lot more mission types. Like I want more mission variety, you know. Fused avians. But only good ones. <laughs> Chicken. Only good ones. Industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. We did it, Patrick. My, one of my favorite missions. Who, along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to uh, killing everything that moves and occasionally loading a gun that will do it for you. We uh, don't really talk about the- I, I want there to be more of those, like the uh, uh, Sea of Artillery. Like I, I, w I want more stuff like that. Like maybe some like uh, anti-air or something. The Kate missions because some like resupply thing all in service to liberate a planet or like or like dude what if like there was one of those things but like if you if you actually like cleared it you got like a tank like that would be sick right Funding point zero 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 three percent this isn't a fucking charity all right reach 100 percent liberation Super Earth zero point zero 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 three percent i am currently reporting to you from the Fifth Siege of Hellfire, planets and Helldivers also have a unique blend of beautiful environments. Like the Heaven Planet, where it is impossible to escape God's light. <laughs> the Constant Meteor Storm Planet, where it is illegal to stand still. The Fire Tornado Planet, the uh, weird fucking animal planet. I'm going to call you a uh, Genghis Shingles Bringer. And the planet that I miss no man's the guy. Game, randomized your airstrikes, which made the process of calling a resupply much more interesting Please wait what is that game. real look hell divers is a game that gives you a lot of tools oh my god and that was that in the game because that's terrible to a lot of places to use them so honestly the task that's awful <laughs> of describing it why would they was, add uh, that i mean i guess they took it job. out the developers are literally adding things faster than i can show them to you i uh began making this video before mechs existed so inevitably when oh yeah and when did this come out he started making it before Mex existed. Two days ago. Yeah, I fucking knew it. This video took so long to make. Like, dude. The day comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we don't legally know anything about. I guess I'll be making a video about it. As long as this one gets views. Oh my god, look at that. Guys, look. When the day comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we you can don't see it right there. know anything about. I guess I'll be making a video about it. Right there. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, guys. Look at... This is painful to look at, dude. This... Oh my god. Look at how many layers, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, this... this dude, this, this would take a long time, dude. I'm telling you. Got it. As long as this one gets views. Dude, come on, guys. You guys gotta, Overall, you gotta give this, dude, you guys gotta give this guy. You gotta, you gotta give him, you gotta give him the thumbs up, chat. I mean, come on. You gotta give him the like and the comment. It's, it, 
this video would have taken forever to make. Absolute chaotic mess where every mission begins and ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. And yet, somehow, some way, I still find a way to disappoint my friends. Some may consider it difficult, while others may consider it fucking bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face love of this game. absolute absurdity is a big reason that I still love like, this game. It's such an adrenaline rush. It feels so good, like while you're fighting, you know? Game. No matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. Uh, sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service <laughs> guarantees affordable health care. Dude, why can't, why can't, dude, I'm enough. so jealous. I'm so jealous. Why can't I have more angry Chinese people in my games? I'm so jealous, man. Dude, I miss, I do it every time I get it in Hunt Showdown. Oh, it's like, it's like, man, it's my birthday, man. Like, God really loves me today. As long as the bug front plays the game today, on a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling and financing our propaganda on a truly galactic scale. Your money is being put to excellent use, making only the funniest and most I'm an angry person that counts. Anyways, I don't know, uh, man. It doesn't, it doesn't have the same. It doesn't have the same ring to it, you know. Oh my God, I saw this. Oh, I saw this video over here. I, I saw this video the other day. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, anyway, that, that that video was called um, Helldivers Review uh, Triple Defense Budget by Maxor. Uh, check out their channel. It's pretty pretty good. Really high effort video. That would have taken um, a very long time to make. So I I uh, I appreciate uh, appreciate the effort that they put into that.